one of the ways in which you can create an assignment in Canvas is a Google assignment. So the Google assignments integration allows you to force a copy of a template assignment to students just like Google Classroom did. So I am in my assignments tab. Remember, I can build an assignment within the assignments tab or I can build it within a module of a unit or lesson um, if I want it to go in a particular spot. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to create it in the assignments tab. So I'm going to click on plus assignment and I'm going to give it a name. This is my Google Doc example. If I wanted to give students directions or have them um, watch a video before they do their assignment, anything that I can normally do in the rich content editor, I can add and it will go above the copy of the assignment that students will see. So that is up to you if you would like to use that rich content editor or not. And then I can give it a point value and make sure here this is an external tool because Google is an external tool. And then I'm going to click on find and I'm going to choose my Google assignments. I'm going to choose the newest version, which is the Google assignments 1.3. If I have not linked my account, I'm going to need to do that first. I'm just going to press link twice. I have to do that the first time on any course that I am starting. And once that happens, it's going to bring up an interface that looks similar to what you had with Google Classroom. Now you're going to want to make this point value here match your point value in SpeedGrader um, and match what you did for your grades tab. You're actually going to be uh, grading your Google assignment through the Google interface itself, but um, having the point value match will be important. Then I'm going to click on attach and it's going to bring up my Google Drive. Now this is an example of a doc. So I have a place value um, questions for math that I attached and it will automatically choose. Each student will get a copy. You do have the plagiarism checker if you are um, a middle or high school ELA teacher and need that accessible. I believe you get five um, checks throughout the semester or students do as well. You can set a due date, you can add a Google rubric if you have one created, and then you're going to click on create. And when that happens, it's going to load that Google assignment and you're going to click select and you can either save as a draft or save and publish if you want students to work on it right away. And then what you're going to see here is this was the directions I put in the rich content editor at the top and then the Google assignment interface loads underneath. So as soon as students start submitting their work, you're going to see their submissions pop up here. Um, if you want to view their work while it's still in um, progress, there's two things you can do. So you can be in your drive and you can go to your assignments folder. Google creates this for you, just like it did in Google Classroom. And then you're going to find your course. So this was in my example course. And then you're going to find this example that I just did. So as students are working, their work will pop up here in the folder in drive that matches the name of the course and the name of the assignment itself. Um, or what you can do is you can um, get students used to submitting when they are uh, finished for a day or when they get to a certain point in the assignment. And then you can re, um, have them resubmit later. So you could have them practice um, submitting when they get to a certain point. Then you can look at it in Google and then they can go back and try again. And um, that way you can use um, this interface here to be able to view student work and just have them continually resubmit. Or you can go to the folder in Google Drive if you would like to see their work in progress. So that part is a little bit different than in Google Classroom, but you still have some workarounds to be able to see student work in progress. Now here's an example of how it looks when a student has submitted work. Um, so this was a different assignment that I had created as an example, and you can see the name of the student. This is just a demo student and what they've submitted. Now I've already given them a score, but if you hadn't yet, you would click on the work 
and it would open up this Google grading interface that you are used to seeing. And then you would have all of the normal features that you would have within Google grading that you're used to in Google Classroom. So if I wanted to, I could change the score here um, or give them an initial score if I hadn't already. I can switch between students here if I had more than one student or use the arrow section. And then I'm going to use this return button. So for Google assignments, you do not have to use SpeedGrader. You can use the Google interface in order to grade that assignment. And then if I update this here, I'm just going to refresh the page. You'll be able to see that that score was updated. And then that will be the score in the grade section as well. Now, Google says that they're going to integrate SpeedGrader with Google assignments later this year, but for now you can just use the Google grading features. One more thing I want to note about Google assignments is that when you are using it, if you were to try to copy this assignment to another course, um, you'll see here the file is attached, but if I copy that same assignment to another file, there is no file attached. So it does not really support copying from one course to another yet. Um, for the Google assignments that were um, created for the elementary teachers to use in the curriculum or any of the other teachers where it was made in the curriculum documents, instead they give you a link so that you can create the Google assignment yourself. Because even if I go in to edit these assignment settings and try to attach the doc that I want, it just tries to revert back and looks for a, an assignment in a course that this is not that right course. So the Google um, assignment is attached to one particular course and that's the only way that you'll be able to see that file attached is if you use it with inside the course that you created. However, if there are multiple people in your course that are listed as teachers, so say you have a co-teacher, they will be able to see this when they go to that Google assignment. So as long as it's a person within the same course, you're not going to have any issues. It's only right now when you try to copy a Google assignment from one course to another, which doesn't necessarily apply to that many people, but I just wanted to make sure um, I let you know that that is um, how that works right now. Hopefully, since this is a newer feature, that's something they will continue to update and improve.